Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to use samples in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure that you watch this quick and easy video till the very end follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have it guys just go ahead and download it from the app store and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page of GarageBand where you can get started with selecting what we want to record. We can find an instrument like the keyboard we can use the drums and so on get started recording ourselves or we can just use the audio recorder option right here but guys there is another thing that we can use and those are samples so guys if you want to use a sample for your recording that you want to use an already made sample by somebody else what you can do is either go to the live loops section right here at the top of the screen as you can see we have the live loops next to our tracks where we can get started with finding all the loops we can use like an edm loop a hip hop loop dubstep loop and so on that you can go ahead and open up and use for your project or if you want to go ahead and find something else an already made loop let's go ahead and open up the audio recorder option right here as you can see now let's go ahead and open up edit mode right here in the upper left corner by clicking the edit mode we can now get started with adding files and if you click the add file option right here in the upper right corner you can see that we have apple loops right here that we can go ahead and get started with implementing so we can go ahead and import these loops into our track right here and use already made tracks that we can use for uh, saving our music but yeah guys basically that is a hard to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye